get started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Whatever. Sound good. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. This is epic, man. <laughs> And Sam was such a vibe back again, baby. Lego. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Oh, okay. Okay. You remember this? Post murder in Andromeda. That's what we're doing right now. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep, a leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Karkin's gotta eat. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Yep. I think that's it. Pathfinder. The scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The chief's omni tool might shed some light. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Pathfinder, this area has been altered by remnant. There may be something of use. Okay. I see. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Okay. Could be where the nest is located. Yeah. It's safe. Right there. Let's go. Let's go, baby. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to security data. chief Hiram the Reynolds. Chief was scanning at the time of power up, I can scan with data. Two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a cat pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. This is a great news. That's a relief. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Ouch. You see what happened right there? He was trying to kill him. But it didn't go. Ouch. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do, man? Figure it out, man. Let's go. Ascent is go. Leaving Apple. All clear. Me 
Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Whatever. Sound good. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. This is epic, man. Ha! <laughs> We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. <laughs> so what do you need from us, Ryder? <laughs> Yo, man, I love you. Let's just, let's be friends, okay? Let's all be friends. I got good voice, man. I can sing, yo. <laughs> let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. Yeah, I'm the boss, baby. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. <laughs> PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Hey, yo, man. She yo. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Yo, I love this game, though. I love this game, man. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Hello again, Ryder. Taking an interest in my strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Okay. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck. Kandros out. I got this. I got this. Let's go. Come on, wanna talk to me, baby? Wanna talk to me? Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and Still imagine it sometimes. Roses Ooh. in Helios. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? Oh yeah. I might. For certain someone's. Yeah. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. 
I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. Uh. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. Move on, Cora, now. I see that. No, no, this is fair. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Oh, you will. You will, baby. And I'll be right there with you. All of the step, baby. I'll be right there with you, baby. I don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Quit worrying, Rushan. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. <laughs> we like trouble here. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. <laughs> Probably Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. All by yourself, huh? Where are your friends? The other Krogan? We found a place to plant our feet, make our own rules. Leaving the Nexus wasn't ideal, but we've managed. So why did you leave? Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Okay. Easy choice. Yep. Bad consequences all around. We need you, man. Krogan could have made a real difference on the Nexus. Yep. Staying under those conditions would have just resulted in another mutiny. Oh. We have a much better shot at something good out here. Can't argue with that. Yep. Today, today. Good talk. Good talk. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Uh -huh. Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Oh, okay. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ouch! Ouch. Sorry. Ah. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. Yeah. I just stabbed you. <laughs> we all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. Yeah. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Mm -hmm. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Wow, you're full of surprises. I love you. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? <laughs> oh, um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically without distractions. <laughs> Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. <laughs> but we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Okay. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that, eh? Hey? 
you're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. <laughs> oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Go now, will you? Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. <laughs> You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? <laughs> no. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Okay. Well, congratulate yourself. <laughs> no one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! <laughs> Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <laughs> then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Okay. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. <laughs> Remtech, huh? You got it. I like the sound of that. Big, big. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. She's doing my job. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. Yeah. And you've done it splendidly. This is Herrick, one of the geek, uh, scientists <laughs> from the tech lab. What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. Yep. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Yeah. Thank you, Ryder. Anytime. Anytime, man. I got this. I got this. Oh oh! I know what you did. I know what you did. I know what you did. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? She lied to me, man. Come on. You're a liar. The Chief's Omni Tool recorded you over the body, admitting to killing him. What? Wait, that's not. What are you trying to pull? Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Well, shit. <laughs> Guess my fate is sealed. Except that your shot missed. A ket blast to the back killed Reynolds. Are you... Are you serious? I'm innocent? What a stroke of luck. <laughs> the conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Uh, I may have something to say about that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to Tam. And I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied. But if my shot missed, I'm innocent. Plain and simple. We'll see about that. Ouch. She don't even care. It was like, ha, ah, whatever. I ain't kidding. I'm innocent. This guy. This guy. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Okay. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. 
Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Yep. Yes, I am. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Oh. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. You don't know me. Nah, I can get behind that, man. Uh, well. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good pathfinder improvises. Yep. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Oh, yeah? Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. Yeah, I'm just getting started, man. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. <sighs> ah, my staff. <laughs> Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. All opinions matter. Give Tan a chance. I like him. The director's had a rough time, stepping into a job he didn't ask for. I sympathize. Let's give him a chance. As I've said all along, the Pathfinder and I are of one mind. <laughs> I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. Oh, yeah? But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. Yeah. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. Uh -huh. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? I don't know. We have a lead on the terraforming network. Hmm. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. Hmm. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Okay. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Okay. Yes, I think that's best. Yeah. You have my permission. Thank you. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. Yep. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder. <laughs> right. <laughs> This guy, I like him, guys. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Med Bay. Will do. Yes. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with our job. Plus, we got something to do by eight. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Yep. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Yep. Did you have some other business? Something else. Yeah, the mother. Uh-huh. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. Mm. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I understand. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Are they ever? <sighs> If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Nah, let him go, man. Let him go. It's all good, man. It's all good right now, man. 
It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. Yes. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. Yes, we did that. We're good right now. Let's go see my sister right now. Ryder, isn't it? Yeah. Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tans' angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. Okay. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Oh. Interested? Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? Yes. All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. Okay. I'll be You're right great. In. I'll get to work editing. I'll be right in. I ain't gonna miss it. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what Anything. choice do we have? What's How? good? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Tell me about it. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. Okay. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. No. Nah. Nah, no pressure at all. I got this. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Okay. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we are doing. Andromeda viability and Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Uh, what's first? All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Okay. 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 Yeah. I can't believe it. You're free. Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. Don't push your luck, man. You'd better live a clean life, Nilkin. Or else. What? What does he mean by that, love? Hmm. I'll tell you later. Let's just get home. He yeah, like you don't care, though. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Ooh. 
My sister. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's a good news. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Oh. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Is that you, little brother? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? Uh, should I lie? Uh, he's dead. Let me, let me, let me, let me not lie, man. I don't know how to say this, but he's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But it's Dad. He can't die. He... I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about finding home? Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. But Dad said. Sarah? I. Am I dreaming? Where am I? Sarah, I'm sorry. Her pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I need to go now. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's enough. It's too stressful. I'm sorry. I have to tell you, man. Sarah. I have to say it the way it is. I can't lie to you. You know what I'm saying? I can't not lie, man. All right, let's go. Talk when you're free. Cool. Soon it? You wanna talk? What's good? Scans of the scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. Yeah. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Yeah. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. <laughs> it's good to have different voices on my team. Yep, I like it. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. I guess that's all I got right now. You know, I'll see y'all later. Ha ha, I'm tired. Ha ha, yeah, I have to go sleep. <laughs> later, mate.